Now, this is what are you saying, hashtag ways. And today we're discussing traffic in Nigeria's commercial capital and Africa's fifth largest economy, Lagos. We have none other than the Lagos State Traffic Management Authority, GM, here with us, Engineer Olajide Oduyoye. And he's the, also, he was also the Deputy Director, Traffic Management and Transport Safety at the Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, that's LAMATA, a fellow of the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport. He started his career at the London Bureau, Hammersmith and Fulham as traffic engineer from 19, 1990. In 2005, he joined the Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, that's LAMATA, as a World Bank Technical Advisor on Traffic System Management. He has been involved in so many projects since he joined the Lagos State Government. Engineer Oduyoye has worked in the United Kingdom and he has experience in airport planning, design and management. Now remember, you can join the conversation. Tweet to us at Plus TV Africa or at Waysha Africa one with the hashtag Waze or you send us an SMS or a WhatsApp to 81 80 Thank you so much for joining us this evening. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it was it really is such an honor to have you yes, here. It is. Absolutely. Yeah, we are very, very honored and we are happy that we have finally <laughs> caught you. <laughs> I'm humbled. You know, because um Lagos is such an amazing I don't want to use the another word. It's, it's such an amazing, an amazing place. place to live in. You know, anybody that lives in Lagos knows that you must always factor traffic time to every single thing. You must plan it. You know, so I, I want to first of all ask um in your view, the overview of what Lagos is about, how has it been, first of all, since you emerged the GM of last month? Let's, let's start from there first. Well, um, I mean, of course, I've been in Lagos since um, I knew the sky was blue, <laughs> even though I wasn't born here, technically speaking, but we came back while I was about a year and a half. So I've known Lagos, then my, I went to Our Lady of Apostles, Ayaba, the private sector, before people start saying, no, nah, that's a girls' school. So they have the girls only primary and they have girls only secondary. Yeah. But in between, there's a private school. Okay. Um, and we went um, I school in the bottom for my secondary school thing. So I'm a part and parcel of Lagos around this rural area of Julegbar Axis. So nobody can say nothing about Lagos apart from maybe the Lagos Island, Nito to Nito to itself. <laughs> um, of course, over the years, things have changed. A lot of us used to remember Ojulegbar and about. Yeah. We pluck flowers there to go and give the people before the flyover came, before the express rose, before this crazy and downfall all, drivers was and everything. was also known for its head, number of heads. You, can, you cannot see the road. <laughs> Exactly. The, yeah. I mean, in fact, even the Kurudu Road itself was just so forestry and everything. And um, things have changed gradually. Development has come to Lagos, become seriously metropolitan. Um, right now, we know we're over 20 million people. Yes, and um, whatever it is that is attracting people inside it, as if it's glue or, or bees to honey, I don't know what it is because, like you guys have said earlier on, we're all looking for this on here, but it doesn't look as if it's just available everywhere. Otherwise, <laughs> why are we talking about traffic issues? Yeah. Why are we talking about downfalls? Why are we talking about Kekemawas? Why are we talking about Okadas? It means the real Oni is nowhere to be found. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so how has it been since you emerged as the boss of um, um, last month? A lot of sleepless nights. I mean, I go to the toilet and I come back and I'm thinking, what next? What can I do? Your phone must be on permanently because any call can come from anywhere. There's no single day that you do not have a breakdown of trucks and trailers in the region of 20 in different places blocking all the highway and stuff. So there's always emergency situations going on. And then you get calls from people, okay, you know what, GD, I'm traveling on this road, there's traffic here, what's going on? I start making phone calls. So it's been um, challenging, um, it's serious, but it's the kind of work where you cannot allow the pressures to get to you, whereby you cannot begin to think of solutions to address the issues on the ground. Mm -hmm. So it's exciting on that, on that level. Um, the other bit that one needs to, someone like me needs to get used to is people saying GM, GM, GM. Like, I'm thinking, <laughs> hold on a second, is there extra salary from being called GM? <laughs> like, Maybe. If, if there is, then you better start bringing it down because, oh, GM, GM, GM. <laughs> like, is it not work? Oh. Am I not? Am I not in the zone? <laughs> like, really, I mean, I would love to be like 
maybe the the MD of whatever of a bank because I know I have access to the votes, <laughs> stuff like that, and then nobody well, can well, wait. You know, me. I must come in here because I, I must commend you. I, I, I was saying to um, to the ladies that before, I mean, when you're descending Third Milan Bridge, and you know, you know, there are people that are going through towards um, uh, is it ba uh, Bariga or whatever? Bagada, Bagada. 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 There those go to Alakbara, those go to, to, Alakbara, Alakbara, to Bagada. Yes, and all of that. You know, before that place always used to be chaotic. Oh, so Roshoki, one day, yes, Roshoki, Lebai. yeah. So one day I was just coming down Third Milan Bridge. I just saw sanity. I saw straight files, and I was wondering well, I what was happening. Sanity. Something is wrong. <laughs> no, because somewhere. I mean, it, it's actually insanity mm. when you see the way people drive. You know that I'm going towards the right. You go and stay in the inner lane and all of that. All of a sudden, I just saw someone. I didn't even know he was the GM then, and he was just. And there was so much other, and there was, you know, you have sad. been really, really um, visible, Involved. especially on the roads. You know, it's not the last man that sits in an office, I mean, the boss that sits in the office and let the other guys do the work. Why? You know? Um, what it is, is, um, you see, we have over 3,000 officers, and last man has been in place over around 20 years now, 15, 20 years. So, so you go through, I mean, from working with Lamata, you go through the system, you know about last mile opportunities. And even before I became GM, whatever, I took it upon myself, like, if I see traffic and everything, I'm not one to drive off and say it's none of my business. I'll probably just park my car and I just start control because I feel there's a, that there's a big gap between those that think they're drivers and those that are real drivers, mm -hmm. all right? A lot of people are pretenders, they don't have a clue what driving is all about. Moving a car is not driving. Driving is showing appreciation for other road and users. Driving is showing courtesy. If I give you way, if you just signal to me to say thank you, it does a whole lot into my spirit that at the next generation, I'm willing to do something good for somebody else. And I find out that there's a void. And people don't understand that driving is like an art. It's not something that you just do offhandedly. It's something that you've got to concentrate and you've got to develop it on a single day. And it's not a competition either. So I find out like even before anything to do with GM, I would at least in my access, a lot of people know me for that, my Godo 7-Up area, the motorways area, that you just cannot afford to just be messing around. I used to, in my Italian suits, honestly, I would chase Okada riders back, take it one way. And I was only stopped because a lot of people came to warn me that they are planning for me that they're going to cut my neck off. <laughs> and one actually threw pure water at me. Wow. And they ruined my Italian suit. So right. I stopped wearing Italian so I started wearing a Turkish suit. <laughs> so, I didn't less, see that coming. <laughs> it's, less, it's, less, it's cheaper. Yeah. All right? <laughs> Still looks nice, but it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. right? And so that's been going on. Mm -hmm. Right, so um, becoming a GM thing wasn't such a big deal for me in terms of being on the road itself. And if you want to lead and you want to teach, you must be able to demonstrate it. Absolutely. So, I mean, we'll probably talk about the attitudes of officers. There's a lot of attitude in our system that is not right. And part of that wrong attitude is even the officers that I manage. Yeah. And I have to go out there to say, you know what, right? There's value in showing people that you can do something different. Mm -hmm. So I go out there and I do Be that. And of course, when they've gone to hide somewhere because maybe they're tired or whatever, and they see me, they go, so the word goes around, oh, GM is on the road. Mm. So they all start crawling out from the holes in which they're eating themselves, <laughs> right? And then once they get in there, and I say to them, okay, are you guys cool to deal with this now? And then I go. The only guarantee I do not have is like maybe in 20, 30 minutes, would they still be there? Be there. So yeah. that's, that's, that's the battle. Yeah. But we'll probably come to that to say, how did we get to that level? Yeah. What are the factors or parameters that has guided that? And it looks as if there's a disconnect between someone handing their pay. It may not be that good, but what I say to people, it is better to be employed, even as a last man, officer, or monitor, or manager, than for you to be at home that okay. either your parents or your girlfriend or your wife do not even respect you because you do not have a job to do. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. so well, what, okay, I, I just wanted to ask, and this is also for information purpose, what is last month's mandate? So what is the clear mandate of last month? Last month, as a um, Lagos State Traffic Management Authority, yes. is mandated to ensure traffic flows and to ensure that motorists or road users do not violate 
any of the traffic laws. And that is why they are not called last man officers, they are called authorized officers. Okay. So authorized officers includes the last man officers, includes the largesse, includes the CHI, includes the police, includes the tax force. So under that umbrella in the law, there are authorized officers because I know there's a chance you're going to come like, oh, are they allowed to arrest? Yes, they're allowed to arrest. Are they allowed to ask for your driver's license? Yes, they're allowed. The same way as a VIS person is allowed to ask all those things, any authorized officer within the traffic law is allowed to ask everything and to make arrests and to make sure that you're punished for whatever you do that is wrong or to educate you to do it better and whatever it is. So authorized officers, it just happens to be a last mile one agency. If I'm in CHI, I'm authorized officer, but I'm in CHI. If I'm in tax force, I'm in tax force, but we are all authorized officers. Okay. So what is the biggest challenge of last mile officials on the field? The biggest challenge, I would say, is the condition in which they are meant to work. Right. Um, a lot of um, last more officers, they are under the civil service organization, and the pay is not fantastic, really and truly, in the environment in which we live. This is Lagos. Lagos is kind of expensive, and it's expensive in a practical way, and it's expensive in a psychological way. Because when you see people driving Rolls Royce all over the place and they're driving Ferraris, even in the system of Lagos, you begin to wonder whether your God is not answering your prayers. <laughs> all right? So there are, there are pressures there. And, but the condition in which they work is very, very um, challenging. It's challenging because the weather is kind of hot, yeah. all right? And then we even have the rainy season, right? And it's not as if when it rains, people don't smash water onto your body while, you're, while they drive along. Mm. Then we have a challenge with negative attitude from some motorists. If I may step in there, sir, the negative attitude from the motorists can be vice versa. Yes. Because the last more officials can be doing the same thing that the motorist is actually doing. So in terms of traffic control, how will the last more official actually handle um, a motorist who is not um, actually doing complying, um, complying, complying with the rules uh, I of understand. Traffic. I understand what you're saying, but I think it comes with a lot of experience. And we all have different experiences, we all have different backgrounds, and we all have different um, opportunities. So I'm not going to place myself because my experience is totally different. All right? I come from a background where I've received a whole lot of training from outside the country. Uh, and I'm a good marketer as well. And I can understand psychology. And I know the human minds, and I know the ones that is just lying, I know the ones that is desperate, I know the one that is just looking to beg, because we have a set of people that are drive, there are beggars, all right? And they are deliberate violators, all right? And then those who are caught in ignorance, and there are those who are desperate. The desperate ones are the ones with children, the children are crying and everything, they need to get a home and feed them. That's desperate. Or you need to go to hospital, that's desperate. All right? You need to go and buy medicine, that's desperate. There are willful obstructors. People would know there's no one who's going to catch me or I know someone I can call when I get in trouble. It's going to take the one way, it's going to yeah. block the traffic, it's going to turn two less into six. Mm -hmm. Then you have that. Then you have those that are totally ignorant. They did not go for a driving lesson. They just bought the driver's less license itself. And all they know is to put a car in gear, in the and the, the rest of the life they struggle in putting the car in reverse to park properly. And everything else right is, you see, I tell you, there's some people who do not know that the, the middle pedal, or the big pedal, if it's an automatic, is meant for usage all the time. So when they're driving right, they just don't want to take their foot off the accelerator. Mm -hmm. They don't want to press the brake until when they get home. That's not driving. So you have those ones. Then you have the aggressive ones. So the last mile officer is going through this process. Now, who is the last mile officer? The last mile officer is female. The last mile officer is a mother. The last mile officer has got the challenges of children at home, got the issues of husband, whether the husband is having girlfriends or whether he's not <laughs> putting enough money at home. All these are psychological issues that you bring from home to come to work at 6 o'clock in the morning. Now the distance between where you live and where you're posted could be an issue. Because now you're supposed to come in at six o'clock. Now if you're a woman, all right, you've got to think about the security before you leave your home if you don't have your own car. All right, so how do you safely get yourself from home to where you're working? Then you get there and people are now abusing you and acting and treating you as if like you're a nobody. So when you say stop, at most intersections, when you say stop to someone, 
at least two, three forecasts will go past, as if you're invisible. Yeah. Mm. And that is what we do. And so there's a trigger. So what I'm saying is the chicken and the egg thing. Now, if I go through that every single day, every single day, there comes a time when I might likely lose it in terms of comportment. In terms of saying, oh, thank you very much. You know, you can show sarcasm while you're being rude, all right? So you can say, oh, thank you very much. I'm glad your driver's license is from Czechoslovakia. Now, the person you're talking to maybe doesn't even understand English properly. So when you say Czechoslovakia, you even probably think you're saying good morning, <laughs> all right? So mm -hmm. they go through all that. And I think over the years, and it's not an excuse, I think over the years, they have now also developed an aggressive and attitude. attitude. Okay, so, sir, you know, because I like what you're saying. Um, I have seen so much investment done in terms of training and retraining of last mile officials, you know. So, I mean, it happens in Magodo all the time. I always see them with their bags coming into the estate to go and get trained and all of that. So if they are being trained, are you trying to ex I mean, tell me that? Because part of the job is for you to be able to handle the pressure of the people. You understand? So are you saying that with all of these things, despite all the training, they are not getting that, you know, that, that, that training is not working? Um, that's not right. The training is working. But you see, where we have issues is when someone has offended. All right? So it's in that category of the person who has offended, how are they dialoguing with the officer? And no matter how many times you've trained me or whatever it is, disrespect within our system is not something that we take lightly. Mm -hmm. And a lot of officers are disrespected on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And that is what tricks. So before your training kicks in, it's your emotions at that time that kicks in. Because if I stop someone and the person begins to say, I beg, get out of here, whatever it is, whatever. Because I need to assert my authority yeah, and know. to make the pay. Because you see, if you don't change something, the Nigerian driver is not slow when it comes to legality. When someone takes one way and nothing happens in three seconds, trust me, others are going to follow. follow. That's right. All right? So That's if it. I mm -hmm. sometimes do not show the first person that has catapulted that effect that this is a serious matter, i.e., be aggressive towards them so that I can send a message to the rest. That's so true. All right? Then it becomes like, oh, that one has gone, then the next thing. Yes. So you've lost it. Yeah. Okay, okay. we are going to dig deep into okay. the traffic proper <laughs> yes, now because, because we needed to give the, the background and the overview of where we are right now. But we'll do that right after this break. We'll still have the GM with us. Please stay with us.